Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind. The leftist hypocrisy never ends. After years and years of accusing the other side of being a cult, the Trump MAGA cult, people who simply follow the words of their cult leader Donald Trump mindlessly and do not ask questions, after years of claiming that the MAGA people, oh those horrible MAGA people, they'll defend Donald Trump no matter what he does because they're so deeply partisan and they're in a cult after all of those claims, this is how they act. Joe Biden's own DOJ essentially tells them flat that Joe Biden did in fact mishandle classified documents that he's guilty of the crime that they accuse Donald Trump of that's one of their big indictment cases to stop him from running in 2024 you would expect these principled Democrats who keep criticizing Republicans over their blind defense of former President Donald Trump you would expect them to now do the right thing and follow the standard that they set and condemn the president for literally stealing classified documents and showing them to people who had no clearances but of course that's not going to happen because Democrats are as we know, absolutely full of it. No, they're more focused on throwing little tantrums, attempting to fact check and debunk Robert Herr in their efforts to intimidate him to retract or edit his report. What an absolute clown show. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on in the world of leftist hypocrisy. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, I already covered pretty much what happened in a previous video. And of course, you know, not a big deal, just actual audio recordings where Joe Biden admits that he was illegally holding classified documents with the explicit intent to reveal the information of said documents to people who don't have any clearance to see them. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter. With my ghostwriter. I did not. Guarantee you did not. We also identified other recorded conversations during which Mr. Biden read classified information aloud to his ghostwriter. That's the bombshell here, but Democrats are more focused on this. And I want to give you a chance, since the transcript is out, uh, to correct the record on an important point. Uh, very sadly, uh, your report on page 208 says that Mr. Biden couldn't come up with the date, the year of his son, Beau Biden's death. When in fact in the transcript it shows that you asked him the month. And do you know what he said, Mr. Herr? He said, oh God, May 30th. Would you like to correct the record? His memory was pretty firm on the month and the day. Congresswoman, I don't believe that's correct with respect to the transcript, but if you could refer me to a specific page, I'd be happy to look. Uh, <laughs> and my second document to clarify for you, sir, Mr. Herr, uh, from the transcription, uh, page 82, the words are President Biden's. What month did Bo die? Oh God, May 30th. A searing memory, I ask unanimous consent. Without objection. This nonsense fact check, they want Robert Hur to essentially retract his statement that Joe Biden is essentially an old man of poor memory. Their claim is that Robert Hur lied that Joe Biden, during their interview, couldn't remember the date that his son passed away. They want him to retract the statement. But see, here's the thing, Robert Hur didn't lie. Democrats are making the claim that he lied by once again misrepresenting the evidence, just as they did during the January 6th commission, by not presenting the full quote. The claim is that Joe Biden remembered the date because he said May 15th. Therefore, Robert Hur lied by claiming that Joe Biden is an old man of poor memory. He remembered the date. He's all there. That's the claim they're making. Except here's the full context. Let's actually read the transcript. This is word by word the exact official conversation between special counsel Robert Hur and Joe Biden. Biden says, well, um, I, I, I don't know. This is what, 2017, 2018, that area? Robert Hur says, yes, sir. Biden says, remember in this time frame, my son has either been deployed or is dying. And by the way, there was still a lot of people at the time when I got out of the Senate that were encouraging me to run in this period, except the president. I'm not, and not a mean thing to say, he just thought that she had a better shot of winning the presidency than I did. And so I hadn't. I hadn't at this point, even though I'm at Penn, I hadn't walked away from the idea that I may run for office again. But if I ran again, I'd be running for president. And so what was happening though? What month did Bo die? Oh God. Rachel Cotton, then a White House lawyer, chimed in 2015. An unidentified male speaker then chimed in 2015. Joe Biden then says, was it 2015 he had died? Unidentified male speaker then responds, it was May of 2015. Then Biden responds, it was 2015. Robert Bauer, Biden's personal lawyer, then chimed in, or I'm not sure of the month, sir, but I think that was the year. Mark Crickbaum, 
Applebaum, Hur's deputy, responded, that's right, Mr. President. Then Biden cut him off and said, and what's happened in the meantime is that as Trump gets elected in November of 2017, unidentified male speaker then says 2016, then Biden says, 16, 2016, all right, so why do I have 2017 here? At Siskel, Biden's White House counsel, that's when you left office, January of 2017. Yeah, okay, but that's when Trump gets sworn in, January. Right, right, correct. And so if you actually read the transcript, it seems as though Joe Biden is confused, doesn't know when his son passed away, doesn't know when the election happened, doesn't know the 2017 date that he's looking at when he left office, generally just an old, confused man with poor memory. Robert Hur is simply being fair. Here was his statement. Quote, I had to consider the president's memory and overall mental state and how a jury would likely perceive his memory and mental state in a criminal trial. I did not sanitize my explanation, nor did I disparage the president unfairly. And I think that's pretty fair to say. But what are Democrats focused on? They're focused on defending the president no matter what, essentially doing exactly what they accuse the mega Republicans of doing in their defense of all the clear Donald Trump crimes that they've still yet to prove. In this case, Joe Biden actually did something something wrong and here we are they're essentially trying to bully and intimidate special counsel robert Hur to retract his statements the statements that he made accurately based on his observations and based on what you can see in the actual transcript i mean out of their damn minds and now democrats are really mad at merrick garland here's molly jong fast on twitter writing seems like merrick garland messed up all kinds of leftoids crying in the comments calling for merrick garland to now get fired pretty much acting like the fascist they accuse trump of being anybody who doesn't do our political bidding automatically should be fired is always the freaking attitude turns out two things today were proven true that joe biden is an old fart with poor memory and that joe biden clearly mishandled classified documents but all democrats want to do is lie 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 challenge robert her claim that he's actually just working for the rnc and he's a republican it was also my obligation to write a confidential report for the attorney general explaining Completely well, my what decision. you did write was deeply prejudicial to the interests of the president. You say it wasn't political, and yet you must have understood. You must have understood the impact of your words. Well, Not let what me, happened. Let me move on. Partisan then, politics. Sir, you are, you no are a member whatsoever in you my are, work. You are a member of the Federalist Society, are you not? And fair. Are you a member of the Federalist Society? I am not a member of the Federalist Society. But you are a Republican, though, aren't you? I am a registered Republican. Yes, sir. And you're doing everything you can do to get President Trump reelected so that you can get appointed as a federal judge or perhaps to another position in the Department of Justice, isn't that? You want to be perceived, understandably, as credible. And so I want to first see if you will pledge to not accept an appointment from Donald Trump if he is elected again as president. Congressman, I, I don't, I'm not here to testify Seems like an easy about answer. what will happen in the Considering future. Considering what I just laid out. I'm here to, te I'm here to talk about the, the report and the work yeah. that went into it. And but you I, don't want to be associated with that guy again, do you? Congressman, I'm not here to offer any opinions about what may or may not happen in the future. I'm here to talk about the work that went into the report, which I stand by. They're playing dishonest politics, accusing Robert Hur of acting maliciously, acting politically. Meanwhile, they have Letitia James, Jack Smith, Fannie Willis, and others literally doing what they're accusing Robert Hur of doing. Robert Hur shows great restraint, actually, and did the right thing by not indicting the sitting president in an election season, the one thing that they don't have the decency to do, and now they're mad and melting down. What a pathetic defense. As per usual, I mean, the Democrat modus operandi either lie endlessly or blame Donald Trump. Trump, or I guess, what about is him, shift the narrative or topic to Donald Trump. Eric Swalwell thought it appropriate to play this on the House floor, I guess is a Joe Biden defense. Appeared in your report, though. Is that correct? The word photographic? That does not appear in my report. I now want to show you and play a video of what is absolutely not photographic. In the failing New York Times by an anomalous, really an anomalous, gutless, we are a nation that just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your oh. I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, or the oranges of the 
uh, uh, investigate. And I watch our police and our firemen down in 7-Eleven, down the World Trade Center. Wow, Donald Trump misspoke three times over the last eight and a half years. I guess Joe Biden didn't steal documents and lie to the American people. I guess the conclusion here is that orange man bad and Donald Trump is in clear mental decline. Could you imagine actually being a leftoid NPC? Holy moly. Oh, and I almost forgot there was Ted Lou's distraction. I have a few more questions as well. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden set up a shell company and covertly paid $130,000 in hush money to an adult porn star? No. Thank you. Each of these activities I laid out describe what Donald Trump did, his efforts to bully election officials, overturn the results of the election, and deceive the American people. That is why Donald Trump has been indicted in not just one, not just two, not just three, but four criminal cases. I yield back. Apparently, Joe Biden's official defense to being an old, crusty dementia patient who can't be charged for stealing classified documents is, but what about Stormy Daniels? You cannot make this stuff up. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys on this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.